Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Mike Hunsicker. I'm Dave Greathouse, and we're from Shattered Sanctity. I'm Jeff Rappaport. And I'm Matt Gibbs. Alright, so in the news, Toxic are getting back together again. Yes. Now, they, did it, they tried uh, in 2007, didn't go so well. Mm -hmm. Okay. This time they're serious. Uh, Josh, they, they, they even rented ponies. Yeah, they, they rented, rented ponies, ponies yes. and they're coming on crayons. And cake. Did they get, magi did they get a magician, though? They got a magician. If they don't have a magician, it's, it's, it's definitely not. They got a magician it. and a clown. Not like, oh, not like shit. a shit. Right. Not like a clown magician. They got one of each. So. And they upgraded their gift bags. Yeah. <laughs> they spent these extra dollar ninety five for each grab bag so that it's much better. Totally good. There'll be like that magic right. whistle in there. There'll be one of those things you put your finger together. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Chinese, where Chinese it's finger cuffs. Chinese finger cuffs. Right. I love those. I'm like, ah, I'm trapped. Help. I love that. So, uh, Toxic, um, with buttholes. <laughs> I, I hope this goes great because I love Toxic. I don't know if you guys, have you guys ever heard of Toxic? I heard of them yesterday. Yeah, me too. Well, Jeff, really? Jeff, you know my taste in music. What do you think I think of Toxic? I don't think you would like them. I like Toxic a lot. Yeah. Yes. World Circus and Think This. Two, if you guys have not checked them out. I, I listened to all of Think This yesterday and I liked it. It's amazing, right? It's a good album. Yes. As you right. know, it's I'm definitely pretty fond of Prague Thrash, so... World Circus is, like, even more over the top. Yes. Right? So I, think, didn't, I didn't listen I mean, to I World Circus. I did listen, I listen to Think This, though. You make me think this! Yeah, so, um... These guys coming together again, I'm definitely digging it. That That's a CD that, mm. that I, like, played constantly when yeah, it came out. I listened to it a lot. And uh, I still, like, break it out, like... I had it in my car like probably like four or five months ago and it was in there for a long time. I have the reissues of both. And I yeah, that. they're amazing. World, uh, World Circus is just so like crazy. That's like, a great, oh, great cover too. Right, yeah, with the clowns and everything. Yeah. It's like so over the top, but but great. What do you got to say about it? My only question with something like this is what? Um, See, my first I think this was released in 92. <laughs> you should bring it over and right? show Hold on one second. Let, let, go walk over to the camera and show what you're what that says. My show. first, my notes. The first thing I wrote sure about this story. Make sure that's is, on uh, Is that? Uh, let me see it. There we go. Yeah. See that toxic right next to it. <laughs> Three hearts, not just one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. My only concern with like is is uh, I think this came out in what ninety two. It's over twenty years later. I think this came out in 89. Oh, 89. Yeah. Okay, so when I was born. So it's 23 years later. Right. Is this even going to be the same band anymore? I don't know. Well, you know, uh, you asked that question, but we had uh, Faith or Fear mm -hmm. who were on this show, and they did an album that was a long time ago, and they just did a re, uh, new album. It was excellent. Titanium. Was yeah, good, it was yeah. excellent. It. So I think, it wasn't you know, the same style, though. Uh, yeah, it was pretty close. Pretty close? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean... Uh, I you know they're much older and and they're playing really they play like some really speedy fast shit mm -hmm. so I don't know what direction they're going in but uh, I I I I think they can pull it off mm -hmm. and I think if they've yes. had twenty three years to to fester you know like some bands come out and they get you know they get bad because they they've been around for so they've they been around out. for so long they don't have anything new to like mm -hmm. add you know. The one thing you ever notice is like the first album by any band or the second album is usually like the best, best album yeah. mm -hmm. because they've had their whole lifetime to write an album. Mm -hmm. Well, now they've had 23 years. That, that's a lifetime. Right. It's a lifetime. It's your, it's your lifetime. lifetime. Yeah. So they, it's more than your lifetime right. to write this album. So I think, sure, I think they can write, I think they, either they, <coughs> either they're, they're like thinking, hey, it's a good time to reform for metal. Uh, you know, everybody likes metal now, or they're like serious mm -hmm. about it. But if they've been serious about it and thinking about it in the back burner, mm -hmm. they've had twenty three years of ideas. Yeah, and hopefully they'll just go back on what what they what they um, did in the old days, and then be like listening to something new on the radio, like, hey, I should sound like Rings of Saturn, right? Yeah, they're popular yeah, yeah. now, Jesus or, or whatever. You know, like they, they go they're with popular. yeah. I hate that band. Yeah, you know I man. Uh oh. Well, a direct quote. Quote. Direct Croak? quote. From Josh Christian is the plan is to record and perform. So apparently this is a full fledged reunion where they want yeah. material and everything. Uh, drummer Tad Lager is not involved though. From the notes I saw. Okay. Which is a shame because he was his drumming is one of the main parts to me. I didn't really enjoy them. He's one of the people that added the proggy element to it. In fact, and I actually see him a lot. He works with uh, Grindhouse Releasing. 
So when the Monster Media conventions, he's he's at a lot of them. What? Ripping, yeah, T Tad Leger from. That's where I bought the reissues from because he was he had them available at his table. You're shitting me. No. He he works with Grindhouse Releasing, the same DVD company that did. Uh, what a Cholo the Theater. Current, yeah. At Monster Mania. Was he at the last one? He was not at the last one. No. I think the interview. He just told me that. He interview. hasn't been since I've been working with you. He hasn't been there, and he hasn't been there in a while. But I bought just both toxic reissues from him there. And wow, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's like he wouldn't know my name, and he, he might know me by appearance because I talk to him and I buy his stuff. But he's. Uh, I thought they're from New York. Yeah, in fact, the reason he's not involved involved with the project is he's uh, he's with his other band. I don't have. I kind of assumed you would have the name, but apparently you don't have any on this. He has a doom band that he works on. Oh uh, yeah, he's concentrating on that. So, but everybody's on good terms. There's no like. You know, hate between them, so they're searching for a replacement for him on drums. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the same, but I'm still going to check it out because I love the band. But yeah, he's, he's, he works for Grand House Releasing. He's at a lot of Monster Media conventions. Yeah, he's on uh, his band as Luke Rotola. Thank, cool, thank you. Right. It's his baby as he writes the material and plays guitar, essentially leading the band. We plan on finishing Luke Otero this together and then beginning work on a toxic disc. But the reality is he can't walk away from his art, and I totally respect that decision. Uh... I don't think I realize how close you guys are. If you guys, uh, Lucratella and Toxic are both welcome on the show together Definitely. or separately. Absolutely. The the invitation is out. Sit on the couch. Yes. We'll kick these guys off. Not kidding. But you'll have your own night of fun. Free pizza party. Not $1,250. <laughs> like, uh, right. <laughs> protest the heroes yeah. charges for their pizza parties. Well, here's an idea. Isn't, uh, a, like atheist is still trying to tour, but isn't the drummer the only original member or something? And of atheist? Yeah, the, the, I know they had a lot of like one guy was sick. And That's like a joke. Then. So what I'm saying is, why doesn't the drummer from atheist get jo going to the toxic? That would that would work well. Wow, well. that would be a good combination. Yeah, I would, I would enjoy that. And you could call it atheist. Atheist. <laughs> atheist. Toxic theist. Atheist is from Florida. Yeah, I can you know nowadays with the, with the uh, Skype and everything you can. Yeah, I mean JJ's band's in Florida, yeah, but so. he works makes it work. That's just my suggestion. You can ha you can have that, guys. Roll All right. So toxic. Looking forward to a new release. Yes. Uh, come sit on the couch. Luke Rotola, you're welcome as well. Luke Rotola, whatever Hope it is. See the convention. Yeah. Matt never told me this. Matt's holding out. I'm not holding out. Matt likes to do secretive stuff sometimes. You know, tell do. me stuff, and he's like, "Master Beetle Crown." Hey, <laughs> did you know I got to hang out with Toxic all day? Whoop whoop whoop! You didn't tell me. <laughs> So hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> Anything else to add on Toxic? You got to turn for the first time and yeah, Doug they were good. I liked them. Yeah, I definitely will check out whatever they release. Check out World Circus too. It's okay. like yeah. crazy good. Both of them are really. Both of them are definitely worth your time. World Circus is is crazier. It's like circus. It's a circus. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. I like them both. It's hard to say. I didn't hear think this forever, and I thought to myself, I I I'll pick up World Circus because I you know, and then I heard that I was like, I like wow, better, yeah. they're they're like it's it's. And both covers, I believe, by our buddy Ed Repka, friend of the show. Right, Ed Repka. So, we also interviewed on Motor Rules yes. TV. Look that up. Ed Repka. Ed Repka. Love you, buddy. Yeah, he did do their covers, didn't he? Both of them. I know he did the World Circus one. Yeah. I'm almost positive you'd think cool. this as well. It all ties into us. Yes. All we actually did some shows TV. just to talk about us. It's like <laughs> six degrees of Metal Rules TV. It reminds me of that <laughs> time I sang with Forbidden. <laughs> oh, my God. And then I was on the dating game. <laughs> I love that clip. Yeah. Dude. You were such a rust. Yeah. What's with the head movements? You're like, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what we have on Toxic. <laughs>